Hello everybody, my name is Alan, I'm from Sauber Lab, and today will be another video about Synology NAS. In this video specifically, we're going to show how you can configure your NAS to turn off and turn on according to your needs. Why it's interesting to set up this on and off for your NAS? First of all, when you restart your NAS, you make sure that everything that was running not well, they will restart the application. Also, once that you're not using it, you don't necessarily need to have it on. So in my case, normally between one o'clock in the morning up to seven o'clock, no one is using this one because they are sleeping. And why I need to leave something running, spend energy, consume the lifespan for the equipment if I don't need. So in this way, we're gonna show how you can set up it and program according the time that you don't use it at all. So if you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it, we're gonna show you this video, but first of all, don't forget to leave your like, subscribe for the channel if you're not subscribed yet, and let's understand a little bit more about it. So before I explain how you can configure the part on, part off your system, let's explain why I want to do it. So first of all, here it's my Synology NAS, and this Synology NAS, I have a few hard drives. If I come here in storage management, I have uh, four hard drives and two MVME. And if I come here, my hard drive SSDs, here it's everything that I have. I have uh, four hard drives with four terabytes each and two hard drives or two SSDs for cache with 500 megabytes each. So far, it's not a problem at all, but if you consider each hard drive, it's using around two and six watts. If I had eight storages in this case, each one it's consuming standby around two, one watt. So we'll have around eight to 16 watts consumed all the time either that I'm not using. So in this way, it's interesting for you to save energy, also to extend the lifespan for those hard drives is to set up it to turn off when you're not using and turn on when you're using. So in this way, how you can do this option or how you can configure it. Let's stop here and come in control panel. In control panel, I have hardware and power. Before I come here, one thing that was interesting, a little part for this video, is that um, here it's a physical machine and this one, it's a virtual machine. This virtual machine, I try initially to show how to configure this part on, part off option here, but if I come here, they don't have because knowledge understand that this one's virtual machine and you cannot physically turn on, turn off it. You can configure it to turn off directly your VM management. So they don't have this option, but here we have this option. And here we're gonna come here in hardware and power. Here in hardware and power, we have a lot of things that we can configure. It. I will not go through everything, but one thing that's interesting, you can compress your memory, you can activate this system, to restart automatically if you have any power short, or you can configure it to be able to turn on the system using LAN. This turn on the system using LAN, normally you can have any application in your phone or some in the computer that use the MAC address plus the IP for the network and that you decide which IP that you want. So if I select one, I have the IP address one and here I can send a ping for this number or this IP address and that they will then find and turn on the system. Anyway, let's leave it off. What we are key to configure is power schedule. Here in power, power schedule, it's where we're going to configure it when you want to turn on and when you want to turn off. So in my example before, I normally sleep between one o'clock and seven o'clock in the morning. Between this time, no one else is using my NAS. So what I'm going to configure, it, I will come here and put create and I put shutdown. If I select when I want to shut down, let's say that weekdays is different for weekends. So I will select only weekdays and weekdays I will turn off the system one o'clock in the morning. And then on weekends, I want to turn off it around two o'clock in the morning, put shut down and put okay. So those two options that has been created that on weekends, they will turn off two and weekdays will be one o'clock. If now I need to turn on the system, I come here and start up select when I want, so I can select that weekend. I will wake up a little bit late, so I'll put for 10 o'clock in the morning to start my system, and I will do exactly the same for my weekdays. But my weekdays, I want to do seven o'clock in the morning and put okay. 
So in this way, I configure all the days that I want to set up it. If I come here in summaries, I can review if it's working or not. So in this way, two o'clock they will shut down and one o'clock they will shut down, depend what day is it, and they will turn on exactly what to configure. So in this way, if I put apply, the system will start to run as I need. And if I don't want to enable this option, I can only disable it and that they will turn off. So in my summaries, now they will not do anything at all. Other thing that's interesting for this knowledge, it's this hard drive hibernation. What it means? It means that if no one is using the system, it's not running any application background, anything, they will come here and I will put the hard drive to hibernation or stop to run it to try to save energy. What I suggest you leave 10 minutes this one, because once that you need to use your system, you can start to use and that uh, they will wake up the hard drive. So of course, the first time the latency will be a little bit longer because they need to start to spin it from zero, but at least they are not spinning all the time and consuming energy for you. Here in my case, I don't have any USB stick, so normally I leave as a no, but if you have an external hard drive and you want to do exactly the same, you can select 10, one hour, and will have a little bit compromise for the first time that connect or first time that you try to access this information, we have a latency, but uh, not so much. So in this way, we set up the hardware to part on and part off your NAS when you're not using. So if you like this video and think that was interesting, please don't forget to leave your like, consider subscribe for the channel if you're not subscribed yet, and see you next time.